Hey, welcome back to Quetcho Global. Have you heard of this saying? It is better to finish something than to start it all over again. I want to help you be able to have a long lasting relationship than to get into one, break up, and start another one again and break up. It's tiring, isn't it? I know you don't like it. In this video, I'm going to share with you these men you should avoid so that you have your own sanity. The first man I want to talk about is Casanovas. <laughs> we see them every day. They are our friends. We mingle with them. They are even in our job workplaces. These men who are Casanovas are men who they like to speak lofty words to women. They have quite a lot of women around them and you know they are called in quote womanizers or they, some of them are even called uh, women lovers. You see it's fun to be a Casanova as a man but for the woman somewhere who probably likes you and is in love with you you are hurting her and this is what the Casanovas do. They speak soft words into luring women into showing them sort of a feeling trying to lead them on onto some mood some feelings they they have quite a lot of women around them whom, whom they play with uh, they say things to make them feel like they love them but they don't love them this person is only in your life to play with you so for the best avoid this man if you meet one one who keeps putting lofty and soft words into your ears telling you sweet things and making you feel like oh you are falling head and heels over this guy man he's a casanova avoid him the second man i want to talk about the playboys <laughs> listen a man wants just two things many times they say men don't know what they wanted it's a lie a man knows exactly what he wants if a man wants to have something to do with you he knows it he might not say it he will be playing with you and going about beating the bush and all of that but he knows exactly what he wants when he gets it you become a nuisance to him so listen these playboys are those who uh, they want to buy you everything it's good not to mean to pamper a woman it's not to mean that it's a bad thing it's a good thing but these playboys they want to buy you everything take you to almost every place not even when you want it but when they want it they take you everywhere they take you to the cinemas they take you to those restaurants and buy you all of those stuff you see in their mind the message they are sending is once they do these things for you you see their worth you see their value but honestly these men carry no value they have nothing to offer you all they are doing is to show you that oh they have the money and the money is their means in luring you to turn in or fall in love with them this is a playboy he has a millions he has millions of women he's doing this same thing to and let me tell you for him it's a game <laughs> it's 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 a game if you, if you don't know it and you can't see it he's just playing that very nice game with you until he enters into your legs ah uh, he's done with you <laughs> avoid this playboy and you see for these playboys they like to in their mind they like to feel that women should respect them that is more like commanding the respect but respect is not commanded it is end you see some of these men they talk to women anyhow uh, they go about uh, you can't tell me they are those boys they are usually quick tempered uh, they feel like they know how to handle women they feel like they know how to play the right cards to get a woman they know all the tricks and tips about getting a woman they are the playboys and you see suddenly you out there end up falling in love with the playboy he plays with you all right ah he can last with you <laughs> before i let me tell you let me tell you something let me tell you something see when a man wants something from you he can stay with you for years he's very patient that's what the playboys do they are very very patient very tactical and very critical very meticulous about their games when they are playing it i want you to avoid this playboy i want you to avoid him and when you avoid him you'll be sane i tell you you'll be very very sane 
So avoid one when you see one. The last man I want to talk about is the boys. You see, there are grown up men in their 30s, in their late 20s, in their 40s, and even in their 50s who are boys. They are not men. You see, when I was going through counseling, one of the things my pastor said is when you are born, you become a, a, a boy or a male. And from a male, you grow into a man. And from a man, you grow into a husband. And you see, it is only serious men who know where they are going to. They have a life. They have a vision. They have a purpose that they are working with that truly understands that I have to grow from a male into a man, from a man into a husband. That is the status quo. But listen, the boys are those who are usually entitled. They feel like this is mine. I should get it. I should have it. They are always looking for ways and means to be pumped. No. These are boys. Something small, they will mama, they will matter. Oh no, these are boys. These are, listen, listen, listen. They won't give you room. They won't give you room to function as a woman. All you are doing is trying to rather make them become this, make them try to pump out, try to stop them from doing this and that. Oh no, it's a boy. You're just wasting your time with this boy. So let him be. Leave him. Let him go. If you see these signs and these things with these men I just mentioned, I'm pleading with you. Don't start a relationship with them. Avoid them. You see, it is better to finish something than to start it all over again. And I'm sure that's what you want, is it? Thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe, like, comment, and listen, you have to turn that notification bell on to get notified in all my coming videos. See you in the next one.